Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we've got an exciting lineup for you as we dive into the world of Android tablets. If you're on the hunt for a powerful, sleek, and feature-packed tablet, you're in the right place. Stick around as we unveil the top 5 best Android tablets in 2024. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check the link in the description below. But before we jump into the list, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tech reviews and updates. Now, let's get started. Kicking off our list is the Amazon Fire Max 11. The Amazon Fire Max 11 is Amazon's biggest and fastest tablet yet. Although that should put it in flagship territory, it's priced well below most of the other entries in this review. Still, the Amazon Fire Max 11 brings enough heat to get our bang for the buck award. Its 8-core MediaTek MT8188J chipset is fast enough to run its range of approved Android apps. That's a handy security feature for the kids too, since they can't just install anything. However, you're limited to the Amazon App Store, so some of your favorite apps might not be available. This tablet also has middling performance and it isn't built to the same standard as high-end tablets. Still, it's a great all-around machine with enough performance, battery life, and software access for everyday use. Next up, we have the Amazon Fire Max 11. The Amazon Fire 7 is a compact Android tablet that offers adequate performance wherever you go. It has full access to Amazon's App Store of applications, which is more limited than the Google Play Store but also more curated and slightly safer for younger users. The size is a great fit for younger hands as well. You can save a little more by going with an ad-supported version that displays advertisements on the lock screen, but both versions are very affordable. The more capable hardware version with more storage gives you more room for apps. The display is a little dull compared to more expensive tablets, but it's good enough for basic use. Moving on to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus bumped its Tab S8 Plus predecessor out of the way to become our favorite Android tablet. It might be about $200 more than the standard Tab S9 but the extra money lands you a larger 12.4 inches AMOLED display, an extra rear-facing camera, a larger battery, and optional 5G connectivity. The design of the tablet hasn't changed for this generation, and you're still getting a sleek look with a wide aspect ratio, and a slot on the back to magnetically attach the included S Pen. The 12.4 inches AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate is stunning. It may be wide for some people, but it's ideal for sitting back and watching TV and movies. The back of the tablet is home to 13MP and 8MP cameras, while the front has a 12MP selfie camera. If you'd like to remain connected everywhere you go, optional 5G LTE connectivity is available for a $150 premium. This is the only S9 tablet with the option. You otherwise get Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity. The Tab S9 Plus has the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset as its other S9 siblings, meaning you won't miss out on any CPU performance by not opting for the Ultra model. It comes with 12GB of RAM, up to 512GB of storage, and runs on a 1090mAh battery. Android 13 and Samsung's One UI 5.1 come pre-installed, and you get software and security updates for years to come. Now, let's talk about the Amazon Fire HD 10. The 2021 version of the Fire HD 10 features a crisp display, surprisingly good battery life, and works well with other service apps like Disney Plus and Netflix. Unfortunately, it still is limited to the Fire OS, so it can't handle resource-intensive apps. Still, it's a dependable option for those looking for an affordable tablet. Amazon's Fire tablets do technically run Android behind the scenes. The company has been positioning the Fire HD 10 as a productivity device. It's even got a bundle that includes a decent keyboard case. But it's probably better to think of the Fire HD 10 as a media device first and foremost. At just $150 you're not going to find many other tablets for this price, let alone ones that provide a decent experience. Just be sure to install the Google Play Store if you do pick one up. Last but certainly not least, we have the Google Pixel Tablet, looking for a smart home hub that can double as a gaming tablet. Google's Pixel Tablet fits the bill. 
the Google Pixel tablet is the company's long overdue return to the tablet form factor. The tablet itself is a good mid-range, with a perfectly decent 60Hz LCD screen, stereo speakers, and solid performance thanks to its Tensor G2 chipset and 8 gigs of RAM the same setup that drives the Pixel 7 series. Possibly more interesting than the tablet itself is the charging speaker dock it comes bundled with. When placed on its dock, the Pixel tablet becomes a quasi-smart display. In hub mode, the tablet can accept Hey Google commands and functions as a Chromecast target for both audio and video. Sound is routed through the dock speaker, giving the tablet's very average built-in speakers a boost. The Pixel tablet is sold bundled with its dock for $500 a decent deal on a double-duty device. The speaker dock's audio is okay at best, and hub mode lacks some features you'll find on Google's Nest speakers and smart displays. But if those limitations won't bother you, the Pixel tablet may be an interesting option. There you have it, our top 5 picks for the best Android tablets in 2024. Whether you're a professional, a student, or just someone who loves staying connected on the go, there's a perfect tablet for you. Check the links in the description below, I mentioned each product. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.